estimated, uh, predicted that normalization will take place long before it has. But you have to understand the process, it will. The President of the United States, Obama, will not wake up one day and say, oh, this is silly, let's, let's sign off. One, he doesn't have the capacity, and two, he won't have, ever have the political will. It has to come from Congress, and you're dealing with the American system, it'll come from the ground roots level. And it's, it's coming from the Cuban Americans who are finally realizing, you know, their, their, the older generation had their issues, they're no longer going to be around, we have to take the next political step. So hopefully in the next few years, normalization will take place. What will that mean? One of, one of the questions that I get more often is, well, if, if the travel restrictions are over and normalization happens, the Americans are flooding to Cuba, thousands, <coughs> millions of tourists, the businessmen, and you will see McDonald's in Old Havana, and it will destroy the revolution. And I say, it could be, but I have more faith in the Cuban government. We've been dealing with so many things over the last 50 years, including this horrible siege, and the negative effects, let them deal with the effects positively of all these Americans coming in. It'll change your society, it'll change it for the better in some ways, it'll change it for the worse in others, but it will be a positive benefit to have Americans come to Cuba and see for themselves. Funnily enough, I'm going to wrap up soon because I want some time for questions, the Canadian tourists who go to Cuba are deathly afraid of that. Canada still is the country that sends more tourists to Cuba than any other country. And the, and the Canadians go to the beaches. Very few go to the, the, the Havana or the country, but just do that. The beaches are wonderful. The beaches are great. And I talk to so many Canadians and they say, I go to Cuba because there's no Americans. <laughs> I say, well, there's room enough. <laughs> I'm sure the Cubans will say, well, Canadians only. <laughs> And then the other hotel, Americans only. I said, the Americans aren't that bad. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to go to if Cuba. If the Americans come to Cuba, I'm going somewhere else. I said, well, what other country doesn't want Americans that have such nice beaches? So, anything. The siege will have its positive, its negative, and so many other implications no one can tell. The point is, it's time to end the siege. And, you, and the, the pressure of solidarity groups like this that help the Cuba Five and everyone else are so important. The, the real change, the ultimate change, is going to have to take place in the United States. And, and, and it's through knowledge, and it's through the Americans understanding what their government has done to this poor little country that, that doesn't deserve any of what they've, what they've been dealt. Thank you very much for your time.